I'm gonna change my front brakes today on my 2000 Toyota Echo. I learned how to do this off of YouTube, so we'll see how it goes. Here. And then I put my stand right there. It's about just about a hand in. Finish taking out these lug nuts. Some of the video suggested putting this tire right here, so I'm gonna set this tire right here underneath my car. Just for further safety. I'm gonna remove this top nut and this bottom nut. Holy cow, those are freaking tight. I finally got them loose. Now I'm loosening them. Take these things off. See what it looks like. Holy Toledo. The other one is right down here. Right here. Now I'll take this thing off. Let's see what these brakes look like. So here's the brake. The old brake pad that I'm going to remove. And there's the second one. Seems though you could just stick your finger kind of back in there and just it just pull out real easy. Nothing to it. There it is. Seems as though there's still some pad, but. It sure is squeaking like there's no tomorrow. So I got some new pads for this that are pre-shimmed. So that's supposed to make it a little easier. Compare them. I got these Duralast gold. They're ceramic and they're supposed to have a lifetime, lifetime warranty as long as they own the vehicle. So. That sounded pretty good to me. They're $31.99. And it comes with the front brake pads. Open these up. There's four of them in here. I'm just going to need one right now. Open this thing up. This thing looks pretty, uh, pretty strong there. Pretty, pretty durable. I'm going to just put one of those in. I just kind of go like this right back how you got him out. So that little thing goes inside that wedge. And this goes inside that wedge and you just kind of push on it. Boom, that's it. We'll do the other side. Open up this other one. Just kind of set it back here. I'm just going to set that right there push that in there look at the difference on that huh that's a lot of brake pad and I did test my uh, rotor and it seems pretty smooth a little groovy right here but I'm not gonna replace it sounds like a whole nother headache it's good for my house don't know the exact order but I'm gonna spray this now Okay, huh? All right, now I gotta go find my C-clamp. So I couldn't find my uh, C-clamp, so I just took my oil can pliers and just kind of put them like this and squeezed it against this nut here and and that, and I squeezed it real slow, and it goes right back on, just like that. And I'll put these nuts back inside here. Put this nut down here. Tighten those up. 
Put the tire back on. Give it a little test. Hold this inner nut right here while I tighten it a little. I don't have a torque wrench, I'm just kind of playing it by ear, and I don't have any joint sealer. Just gonna play it by ear and tighten those suckers up. I did watch the uh, YouTube videos and they had a ton of tools on there, and I thought, that's too damn many tools. I was gonna use bare necessities, change these things. That's all I need. This is all I used. This is a replacement C clamp. And these are 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and a hammer to get my my uh, hub calf off and a jack to lift the car. I do have a stand for safety. First I'm gonna tighten these down. Line up the lug nuts with the hubcap. And then feel that they're working. And they're still squeaking because I only did one side. I just want to make sure I got brakes on correctly on one of them before I pick up the other one. Just kind of backed out my driveway and now we're back in. This bolt right here kind of pops off. This rubber seal, and it comes off. And this brake grease came with my brakes. I just put a little bit in here, rubbed it around, and then pushed that bolt back in until the rubber pops over it. And I did the same thing on this one so that they move. Nice and easy. I forgot to do it on the other side. I'm going to go back and do it though. And uh, my rotor on this one, you can't see it. But it is pretty grinded down. And I will have to replace it. However, I did not buy a rotor today. So I'm just going to put my brakes on. And it's a special order for this Toyota Echo. Every, every part, I swear, is a special order because they only made the car for three years and so not everybody carries it. That's why I'm changing my own brakes because I went to Brake Masters. And they wanted 200 and something dollars to change my brakes because I would have to pay a stocking fee and all this other crap. So I figured I'd go on YouTube and learn how to do it. This just saved me 200, about $200 because it was going to cost me about two. 2.30 to fix my brakes at Brake Masters. So, hey, 200 bucks. All right, just changed the driver's side. Went a lot quicker because I didn't film it. Took me probably about five minutes. And my level of mechanicalism or mechanical ability, I can change a tire put gas in my car and about four months ago I learned how to change my oil off of YouTube and now my brakes that's my mechanical ability right there oh those sound beautiful oh my goodness no squeaking no squealing oh that sounds beautiful I've been grinding my brakes for probably three weeks now hit my brakes I'm doing a little slow because they told me the YouTube videos said go slow test it out see how it goes so oh, those sound beautiful so I'm gonna take a drive over to AutoZone AutoZone and uh, put a special order in for one rotor and then I'll put a video up on how I change that out my rotors seem pretty loose so I don't think it's going to be too hard. Just a couple more bolts off of uh, the caliber and change it out. All right, so that was my changing my brakes on front brakes on a 2002 or no a 2000 Toyota Echo, and uh, it looks.
been pretty easy. I'd say it's a, a three, 3.2 on a scale to 10 on easiness. 10 being very hard, one being very easy. One being putting gas in your car. A two being changing a tire, then changing your brakes. I think changing your oil might be difficult, more difficult than changing your brakes. So if you could change your oil, you could definitely do this.